Did you know that your router OS device can access other devices via serial? Even if you don't have a serial port, you can use USB with an adapter. All you need is a router board with a USB or a serial port. Today, I will be showing you the process using Hub AC2 and its USB port. Let's say you manage a remote da data center with a lot of switches and routers. You are making some changes in the firewall and by mistake, you lock yourself out of the device. That's it, you can't access it anymore. Your car is at the mechanic and you need to take your bike right to the data center, connect to it locally and fix the issue. But if you would have just one Hub AC2 with the serial adapter, you could have fixed the issue in a few minutes and be back at it in no time. So firstly, we connect our USB to serial adapter and check if it's recognized in the system. So let's go to system ports and yes, here it is, USB 2. Uh, after that, we connect our uh, serial cable to the device we want to read. And uh, let's check if the data comes through. But before we read it, we need to change the bound rate for the device. So for Microtech devices, it is 115200. When that's done, let's go to the terminal and use system, serial terminal, USB, and what's shown for you. In my case, it's USB 2. And yes, we can access our device via serial. Okay, cool, right? We can uh, get to the device through our Microtech. But what's even cooler, we can uh, do it with a feature called remote access. With remote access, we can access serial ports using Telnet. I know, cool, right? So what you need to do is in systems, port settings, go to remote access. Let's do it right now. And press add, use your choose your port you want to use, so USB 2, choose the protocol, let's uh, leave it at the default by now, you can change the allowed addresses, uh, like for example only your computer can access it or an IP segment from your management can access it, and uh, let's choose a port that can access uh, through what you will access the serial port. So I'm gonna choose 9999 just for this test and press apply and okay. Now using any Telnet client, I'm gonna use Putty. Uh, let's connect to our router's IP address. So 192.168.88.1, change the port to 9999, choose Telnet, open connection and voila, we are there. Pretty cool, right? You can use a uh, USB hub to extend it to multiple USB to serial adapters and connect all of your devices to it. But this isn't the only way to do it. There's another feature called special login. This feature assigns a user to a serial interface. When you're connecting to the router via SSH, Telnet, you will be prompted a user login. And if you enter the user assigned to a specific serial port, you will be forwarded to the port to get this running, we need to create a user in the system. So to do that, let's go to our system and users tab. Press add. Let's call this user serial. Uh, I would recommend uh, using read group because uh, this user doesn't need to access your router and make any changes. Let's give him a password. Let's call it serial2 just for this test. Apply. OK. Now, when we have a user, we need to assign it to a serial port. Now, open new terminal and write special login, add user, the user we created, so serial, yes, and uh, the port we will be using, so port USB 2. But remember, you can't use both a uh, remote access and special user. So disable remote access user before using this. And when the port is chosen, press enter and the user is logged in. Now all you need to do is open again your favorite remote access client like put the, in my case again. Now we're going to be using SSH. So let's try to connect to our device. Same IP again, open username. 
serial, password serial, and we are connected. And that's it. Now you can manage all your devices serial through the serial port. So with this backup connection in place, you will know everything that's going on in your device and can feel a lot more safe while doing any maintenance or upgrades.